Hello, and welcome to Chabot News for December 2nd, 2015. I'm Anthony Hamilton. In today's news, we'll have the latest on the University of Chicago shutdown and Donald Trump's thoughts on Black Lives Matter. Paula will bring us the news on Ronda Rousey and Adele's new album, and Bobby will tell us about Kobe's retirement. All that and more on Chabot News. The University of Chicago had a scare this weekend because of an online threat that caused the whole school to shut down. The school canceled all its classes and activities on November 30th, affecting over 30,000 people. The online threat was very clear on the time and place, stating 10 a.m. in the quad on Monday. There was an arrest of a suspect on Monday morning as well, as they had extra security on campus. The University of Illinois at Chicago said that one of its students who lives off, off campus was the person arrested, but did not provide any details. Police are searching for a 22-year-old man wanted on suspicion of fatally stabbing his girlfriend. Officers responded to a call for a domestic disturbance at noon on Saturday in the 1500 block of B Street in San Mateo. The victim, a 34-year-old woman, was found critically injured in her home with visible stab wounds, police said. The woman later died at the scene, according to police. The woman's boyfriend, Anthony Kernsick, has been identified as the suspect, police said. He left the scene before officers arrived. Krinsik is considered to be armed and dangerous. Anyone with information on Krinsik, please contact San Mateo Police Sergeant Teixeira at 650-522-7700. This last Friday, two civilians and a police officer were killed when a gunman opened fire, leading to a nearly six-hour standoff at a Colorado Planned Parenthood clinic. Police arrested the suspected gunman, but the motive for the shooting was not immediately known. President Obama made a statement to the American people on Saturday talking about the need of more gun control, stating, we have to do something about this easy accessibility of weapons of war on our streets to people who have no business wielding them. The suspect of the shooting was identified as Robert Deere, who expressed anti-abortion and anti-government views to officers in the later interviews after his arrest. A well-known landmark to San Lorenzo locals, the duck pond at the San Lorenzo Community Park, which resembled Snoopy from the Peanuts comic strip, when viewed from above, is gone. The Hayward Recreation and Park District filled in the three-acre pond this fall as part of an upgrade of the park on the edge of the bay. Some San Lorenzo residents attempted to save this pond, gathering almost 3,000 signatures on a petition, but others complained the park was overrun with waterfowl. The remodeled 31-acre park will have a smaller pond toward the south end of the park. It will not be in the shape of Snoopy. The remodeled park will also include new softball fields and a play zone is expected to be finished in September 2016. The current playing fields and community center remain open during construction. Up next is Paula with the entertainment news. Thanks, Anthony. The 28-year-old MMA fighter recently made a rare public appearance, one of her first since she lost the UFC 193 match and the UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship to Holly Holm on November 14th, marking her first career loss. Just after the Thanksgiving holiday, she was seen walking a pit bull in Los Angeles with boyfriend and fellow MMA fighter Travis Brown. Rousey received stitches on her lip and also underwent a CT scan. Her current medical condition remains unknown. Adele's third studio album, 25, hit shelves on November 20th and in just one week it has become 20, 2015's best-selling album. Total number of copies sold thus far is 3.38 million. Adele did not release her albums on any streaming sites, including Spotify and Apple Music, which shows that people are still willing to pay for music in this free music era. With the holiday season coming up, 25 is sure to sell even more copies and we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see if 25 will be in the same company as Michael Jackson's Thriller for the most album sales ever. That's it for our week's entertainment segment. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Paula. A San Francisco police officer whose good looks attracted a following on social media has been arrested on suspicion of hit and run. A police statement issued on Sunday says Officer Christopher Kors is suspected of plowing into two men who were crossing a city street around 2 a.m. and left them in critical condition. The driver ditched his Dodge Charger at the scene and ran away. 
Investigators later identified the driver as Coors. The 38-year-old officer was arrested and booked into jail for investigation of a felony and hit and run. Sergeant Michael Andrechek, a department spokesman, said Coors will be placed on leave pending the investigation. Coors gained attention last year when residents of the Castro district, where he often patrolled, began posting pictures and articles about him on social media. Let's see if his good looks can get him out of this one. Up next is Bobby with the sports report. Thanks, Anthony. Los Angeles Lakers legend Kobe Bryant has announced that he will be retiring at the end of the season. After two decades of playing in the NBA, the 37-year-old will finally hang up his jersey and end one of the greatest careers in basketball history. Bryant, who is currently the NBA's third all-time scorer, said, My heart can take the pounding, my mind can handle the grind, but my body knows it's time to say goodbye, and that's okay. I'm ready to let you know, let you go. I know, I want you to know now, so we both can savor every moment we have left together, the good and the bad. We have given each other all that we have. The Black Mamba is ending his career with five NBA championships, 17 all-star appearances, and plenty of other accomplishments under his belt. Unfortunately, Bryant is struggling this year with a young Laker team, but this should not take away from the greatness of his 20-year career. It was another rough day for 49er fans Sunday as the Niners fell to the first place Arizona Cardinals 19-13 at Levi Stadium. The loss did not come without controversy due to some very questionable calls from the officiating crew. 49ers defensive lineman Quentin Dial was flagged on what appeared to be a textbook form tackle on, car on quarterback Carson Palmer, which fueled a late go-ahead touchdown run. This latest loss brings their record to 3-8 on the season. The 49ers will look to bounce back next week when they face the 5-6 and six Chicago Bears at 10 a.m. Sunday at Soldier Field. That is it for this week's Sports Report. Back to you, Anthony. Thanks, Bobby. Donald Trump on Monday speculated that members of the Black Lives Matter movement pressured a group of black pastors not to endorse him after his campaign originally tooted the support of 100 African-American religious leaders. Last week, Trump's campaign released a statement announcing an endorsement from a coalition of 100 black pastors, which he planned to officially unveil after meeting with the group in Trump Tower in New York City on Monday. But some of the black pastors planning to attend the meeting pushed back on the notion it was an endorsement, prompting Trump's campaign to cancel a news conference after the meeting. I have a relationship with the black pastors. I know many of them. We'll see what happens. I don't know if it's an endorsement. I think probably it will be an endorsement by some, Trump said. Well, that's it for Chabot News this week. Thanks for all the students and staffs in the Mass Communications Department here at Chabot College for making this production possible. You can watch us anytime online at ChabotTV.net. Stay tuned to KCTH 27 on Comcast for Chabot TV.